Division II football has had its fair share of NFL talent come through it. Tyree Kill, Austin Eckler, Matthew Judon, Adam Thielen are just some of the many current NFL players who play at the Division II level. With this in mind, the NCAA decided to bypass the Division I FCS level and move up a Division II program to Division I FBS. They called up the West Florida Argonauts, whose inception as a football program was just seven years ago. But even in that short amount of time, they won a Division II national title in 2019 and have been a top program ever since. Since their new Division I FBS program, they're going to start as a 55 overall. Who will start in the Sun Belt will move to the SEC after they win two Sun Belt titles. They also can recruit four-star kids till they reach the SEC and can never recruit a five-star prospect. With these limitations, the only man willing and capable of such a task was Coach Don Burgundy. The son of Ron feels confidently he could turn this program into a powerhouse and win them a national title. Yeah, the team sucks. Not a newsflash to anyone. And yes, we have the kid who said the no-no word in the rap song. He'll be our quarterback of the future. Huh, didn't expect to see that. That's a pleasant surprise. Yeah, that makes more sense. Still could fuss like since we're worse than those FCS teams, but who cares? We'll take it. Now we're staying in the home of the palm trees playing the scary cats. And Coach Convin six kids to come for the game by some miracle. Hopefully they like the sun. Down three, still on it. Marcus dropping back in the pocket. And Cork's to the left side. Uh-oh, yeah, it got picked off, dude. Shoot, at least we brought him down. No pick six today, Sunshine. Still haven't scored. Now's our time to turn dreams into reality. Marcus on a designed quarterback run. Gets the left edge and barely gets to the end zone for us. Really need our defense to come up clutch here. Please, guys. The quarterback keeps and has a huge runway. This is a good. Yeah, man, there's just no one in sight. Our defense is a bunch of turtles. Walking off in despair. At least we're self-aware and that we suck. Three and nine. Three more wins than I thought we'd have. Down Burgundy already working his wizardry. Just full of surprises, a ton of close games left and right. Then we won our last game in overtime against Georgia State, so that's happiness. Well, so long, Charles. Got some other kids graduating. None of you specialized in being good at football. Just need one of you to prove the Illuminati is real. Do the world a solid. Oh, that's helpful. Kentrell Marks and Samaj Payton are joining the Argonauts. Welcome along, soldiers. Philip the 6'6". Six, six. Gosh, why don't you just commit, man? Ugh. Only sign eight kids. Their recruiting budget is lacking, and I'll be honest, the whole Florida thing feels overrated. There's big snakes and tsunamis. It's not for everyone, or maybe just Tanner. And Coach Burgundy can only leech off his dad's name so much. Much. Thankfully, though, we convinced studs like Sidney Patterson, an 85 overall gift from the heavens, and Matthew Jansen to join us. Last class in the country, but no one else has a Sidney Patterson. So glad we found that gem from Alabama. Just like Tanner's face, this roster won't be fixed overnight. It's going to take multiple years, but Coach Burgundy will make it happen. Sidney is our man. The only reason he committed was because Coach said he knew Rihanna, which isn't true at all. Really hope he doesn't transfer. Eh, not bad. 3-3. Three three. We made quite the jump in our teams overall, so that's delightful. Mixed bag here. Lost to an FCS school, beat an FCS school, and beat two FBS schools. Lots of words. I just confused myself. Got the rage of Cajuns coming to West Florida, and it's an important visitor's week. No pressure, guys. People like beaches. Someone will commit. Tied at zero. Sydney is running to his right with his eyes downfield. He sits and launches deep. Good God, he has a cannon on him. Oh, yeah. That's a gorgeous throw. That's a touchdown, Argonauts. We're fighting and scrapping. Still in it. We dump underneath to Trayvon Raymore. He wants to tell his mom he scored a touchdown. Oh, yeah. He's in there. High stakes situation. Needs someone to save us. They hand it off. Cut it back. Yeah, never should have gotten my hopes up. Depression. At least we don't have income tax. Of course, we get teased. Miss bull eligibility by one game. Game. Really could use that win against the meat Cajuns. Well, a lot more kids graduating this year. Hopefully, we can have ourselves a reunion down the road. Just can't be on the same weekend as Coach's Magicians Convention. Happy to have you, young grasshopper. Justin McWilliams from Maryland. He wants good seafood. Who could blame him? Shiro, cool name. Sucks he didn't pull the trigger and commit. His loss. But we did land 10 kids this cycle. Another small class, but we picked up some studs. With Dontavian Jackson and Michael Petrus. 106 in the country. Moving up in the world. Always a good feeling. Rapidly improving roster for us. Kind of worried about the off-field distractions. Especially Disneyland. Who doesn't like Mickey Mouse? Sydney is back. Already 91 overall. Schools are tampering, but he's still holding out hope for Rihanna. Matthew Johnson is a future shining star in defense. He sleeps on a water bed. He's an adventurous kid. Don't think we'll ever see a winless season here. That's a relief. Started off with three straight losses, then got our act together and won our last two games. Recruiting is picking up a little bit. Got five kids in the fold. They all heard about the Rihanna thing. Coach is going to milk that pitch till it's dry. Let's keep this win streak going. Playing the Bobcats on the road. We held a Connect Four tournament before the game. Team chemistry is an all time high. This is going to be a dub. And so far in a great spot. We hand off to our running back and he bursts in the end zone to extend our lead to 21. Offense has been outstanding today. Everything's been great. We keep with Sydney and Mr. Patterson has open field and dives in the end zone. Victory! Sydney was phenomenal today. Kid is so talented. Girls flock to him like geese. Like 90% sure he sleeps in a sauna every night. Kid is immune to pain. Yes, only one game away, guys. We're 5-4 and four, feeling very good. Man, we went on a nice win streak, then lost to Coastal Carolina by 3. That's unfortunate. Playing Appalachian State at home. Need this one for bowl eligibility. Scary situation, but we can do it. Well, we haven't shown up yet. Down 17. We need quite the turnaround here. Sydney sits patiently in the pocket and lost it deep to an open Javante kids who makes the catch and glides into the end zone to finally get on the board. All right, defense, harness your inner double door. Need some magic this possession. Their quarterback hands it off and we get karate chopped into the turf. That kid is in the clear. No chance we catch him, man. Our rush defense was putrid today. Nothing to be proud of whatsoever. Beat James Madison and lost to Marshall. Just needed one win and we got six. All right, dude, it's a conspiracy. We didn't make a bowl game. The NCAA is an op. They must be jealous. There's no other way. Even bigger graduating classes go around smelling some future pet detectives. 18 kids this cycle for us needed more and we got more kids in the 
on the board. Joey Hodgins, a kid out of Iowa. He's a stud. It's going to be quite the culture shift for him, though. And also Anthony Ooms. Need those big boys up front to protect our saving grace. 77th in the country. It's a work in progress. But we're on the right path. Got faith in Coach Burgundy. The team is taking shape into hopefully one day a nice, elegant cosmic brownie. Sydney is back. Ward, this may be his last year here. Let's hope he buys the Rihanna cell for another year. We also got two of our best players at tight end with Griffin Little and Levi Gazarak. They're both scared of the dark. They're very relatable kids. This is great. Love it, gang. Good start to year four. Offense has been fantastic. Defense hasn't been as awesome. They need to fix it pronto. Love to see it. Eight kids already committed on the recruiting front. They must not be scared of the big snakes. Got the Panthers at home field. Confident but not cocky. Gotta stay humble. Zeus must not be happy today. Raining, which isn't ideal. City doesn't care. He drops back. It delivers to an open Tayshawn Jackson. Over the middle. He's got some serious speed and determination. I think he's going the distance. Oh, yes, he is, baby cakes. In the red zone. Man, I didn't realize they're one and seven. Yikes. Need to win this even more now. Sydney immediately throws to Levi Gazrak for a touchdown. Just awful defense right there. Great spot. Seven here and it's sign out of the cats. Sydney keeps it. Just no one in sight. He can cruise in there to put this one away. We're galloping off the field with joy. Would be a great night for some Uno and ice cream to celebrate. Beat Coastal Carolina, then lost to Georgia Southern. So we're sitting at six and three. Need at least one more win. Don't want to get shafted again like last year. They've been the big dogs in our division. Would be a great time for an upset here. Please something good happen. In their territory, Sydney gave the best locker room speech coaches ever heard. This game's in the bag. Sydney runs out of the right and heaves it to the far left side. Hits Griffin a little in stride. That was cool. Things are going great. Up one here will be thrilled with seven. Sydney gives the handoff to Nick with no can. He gets us a touchdown. Great spot here. Knew that pregame speech was inspiring. It wasn't just me. Sydney runs the quarterback route to perfection. It cuts it back. He's going to score. Oh, yeah. Sucks to suck at Appalachian State. He's been a gift from some mythological person. Apollo, Athena, the girl with snakes in her hair. Who cares? We're just happy to have him. Yep, no chance we get scammed this go around. Eight and four. Offense is great this year. Defense was just yuck a duck a do. Beat James Madison. They lost to Marshall to close out the year. Armed Forces Bowl against the Hurricanes. We know water very well. Coach is feeling very confident. Tired late in the game. Come on, defense. We need to make a play. They heave it deep downfield. We got a defender there. We pick it off. Needed that badly. We end up getting tackled, but we still have plenty of time in the fourth. Great spot here. We'll make this. Tanner never misses ice kicks. We kick it up. That's not good. Come on, win. Yeah, no, I missed, dude. I'm an idiot. In overtime near the goal line, City sitting back and throws to the right side. He's open. Griffin a little out of way, kid. Just need to come up with a stop here, lads. Their quarterback stays in the pocket. Throws to the right. We pick him up. Let's go. Party tab tonight. He's going to be a lucky, lucky boy. We hoist up coach of the air. Such an awesome day. So glad we didn't choke that. Bye, Jesse. He must not be a beach guy either. Of course, Sydney is gone. Have fun in the NFL. It's a miracle he never transferred. Jeez, oh, Pete's. I don't even know how many kids are graduating, but it's a ton. At least 20 humans. Wish you all the best. Needed a really big haul. And we made it happen. This class is quite magical. Getting very strong vibes from it. My sixth sense is tingling. That movie is scary. Austin Ellis has as ecstatic as a program, and Jacob Trill does so even more. 85 overall three star. He's a stud from Georgia. His parents are Amish. He was a hard find. Need to win a couple Sun Belt titles so we can go after four star recruits, but for now, I feel like we're doing a great job finding gems. Team continues to improve. It's like each time you buy into a piece of pizza, it only gets more yummy, man. So happy young Marcus stuck around. Really shouldn't be any drop out of the quarterback position. We got a big, powerful, manly man protecting Marcus at right tackle. Dontavia Jackson. He follows Marcus around campus. He's his bodyguard. Love how things are looking. Feel like they're sleeping on us still, but that's all right. We'll keep improving. Beautiful boys. Love it. Five and one in our division. That's exquisite. Lots of close wins. Good to see we're clutch, even though our one loss was a close game. Clutch Gene didn't activate that game, apparently. Recruiting wise, we're in a lot of battles with high overall kids, and things are looking good. This class is going to be quite schmecky. Man, our helmets are gorgeous. Playing the her on the road. We had Olive Garden pregame. This one's in the bag. Never a doubt. We spanked them. The team's jumping for joy. We're going to go back to the Olive Garden tonight. It's all you can eat pasta. Who can blame us? Holy Swiss cheese. 11 to 1. Put this on a list of things I didn't think I would ever see. Only a one scary game against Appalachian State. Every other game, we were just dominant. Ooh, intense situation here. Louisiana Monroe. They're ranked 11th. This should be fun. Have to settle for three in our first drive. Not ideal, but we'll take the early lead. Playing good. Up six to the goal line. Marcus is hurt, but we've managed. We drop back at laser to Ernesto. Love that name. Ernesto. Touchdown Argonauts. Great performance, everyone. Just don't do anything dumb, Tanner. We got this game in the bag. Oh, and fake. So the defense will know what's going on. They're lost puppies. We just cruising there to put this one in the wing calm. Coach Burgundy's a legendary trash talker. Their coach heard the rumors. He just kept quiet during the handshake. Such a great feeling. Coach wasn't having the best day when he found out Ariana Grande is married. This should cheer him up. Well, that's underwhelming. At least it's a Florida showdown, I guess. Later in the game, we're out 17. Great spot here. Marcus steps up and scribbles to his right. Finds a man deep down the field. It's Michael Petrus. He's a speedster. This is a dub. Confetti falling. Celebration is in full effect. Coach Burgundy is quite the party animal. So are the players. It's contagious. It'll be a fun night. Alex is leaving town. Going back home to Nebraska. He must not enjoy the climate or the snakes. Convince Dontavian to come back to school. That's a relief. And also Alec Ebert from transferring. Only three kids graduating. Marcus is one of them. Wishing you all the best. This class is incredible. Super proud of the haul that we put together. Hassan Randall's a big time get. Athlete from South Carolina. Cannot wait for him to step on campus. Same with Shane Thompson. He's from a small school. Wasn't even on the Google Maps. Of course we found him. Highest class ranking we've ever had. Things continue to trend up for us Greekmen. I spaz when I found out what an Argonaut is. They're heroes in their Greek times like Achilles and Hercules. We have to have the coolest mascots. Not even close. Team is a ton better. Major roster 
roster upgrades for us. Still have no idea what happened last year. That team must have had a guardian angel protecting it. My eyes are in heaven. The only thing I can compare is a bull of fruity pebbles. True freshman of Sato Randall is a future superstar. On the other side of the ball, we have Trey Lakita at corner. He's out of Hialeah, Florida. He grew up with the snakes and tall waves. He has no fear in the secondary. 7 0, doing what Coach Burgundy knew we were capable of so far. Had a couple close games. One went to overtime, but we pulled it down and waxed everyone else. Won't ever get tired of this feeling. Looking at all the great recruits who are already in the class. So beautiful. Playing the Mountaineers at home now. Team confidence is at an all time high. We're excitement. Gave them the corn dog and won by 18. The players giddy up off of the field like Tanner walking into Dairy Queen. Great day. 11 1, we lost, but whatevs. This team continues to dominate the Sun Belt. Yikes. Would have liked to lost to a more formidable team like Georgia or Alabama, but San Diego State was the culprit. Interesting. Sun Belt title game. We got home field. The fans have been lined up for days, waiting to get into the stadium. We cannot let them down, lads. Trailing by three early on. We're teasing the kitty cats, making them think they have a chance. Love the strategy. Hassan drops in the pocket. There's the Michael Peters. Nice grab. Awesome play, friends. Nice insurance policy here before half. We wanted to go for it, but our kicker talked Coach Burgundy out of it. We turned it on in a big way. That sounded wrong. Stay focused, Tan Man. Hassan runs out to his right. Right on like he just got seen by Bigfoot. He stops in a diamond and hits Ernesto. Such an awesome name. Tanero. Kind of like that. Think there might be something there. Hassan is getting all the love from his teammates. They're sucking up. Everyone knows the kid is going places. Coach Burgundy's going to be going places, specifically to the SEC next year with his posse. For now, we'll just go roller skating and listen to some Justin Timberlake to top off the night. Heisman Trophy winner is a true freshman. Cue up the statue. Make sure you pull a drink and have hot sauce handy, Hassan. On. High stakes game here, kind of scary. We like our ESPN Plus broadcast, but we're ready for the bright lights. Move down the field in control. Really want to draw first blood. Hassan takes his drop steps and delivers quickly over the middle to Brandon Harper. He pissed his pants when the ball was in the air. Very happy he caught it. All right, late in the game, just need the defense to step up here. They can do it. Their quarterback, Anoki, that's definitely Hawaii. She lobs to an open man on the right side. Someone get him. Nice job. He breaks a tackle. He's a large man on a mission. He's going to score. All right, Hassan, we can do it, young blood. He sits back in the pocket patiently and throws. Oh, no. Yeah, it got picked off, dude. Fudge, man. Testicle Tuesday. Ugh. Grabbing a gallon of chocolate chip cookie dough and go to town. It's the only way to cope. Alex sniffed our bluff. We promised him we'd start. We broke that promise. It'll be a lesson for the kid. I promised myself I'd lose my Virginia in high school. That never happened. Four kids going to NFL draft. This was the foundation that got us to where we are now. You are all saints. Only three kids are getting drafted. A really good ratio. That should sell well on the trail. Class is 92nd in the country. The rankings are biased. They like shiny stars. Never mind. Can't blame them for that. I like those two. 17 man haul for us. Let's go around. Will Igwubuki, 6'2", 264 as a linebacker. Dear lord. What I want to see that kid mad. And also a Juka. Lonnie Wilson from right here in Florida. We're ready for the SEC, man. Honestly, we have a roster that can compete. Not anticipating a natty or anything, but we shouldn't get bent over every week. Hassan is up to a 97 overall after one year. I mean, the kid eats raw chicken and red meat and doesn't get sick. I'm starting to think he's not from this planet, or maybe he's a vampire. Hmm. Taylor with no wise or guy at running back. We have a really explosive duo in the backfield. Wow. Beat Louisiana Tech week one to start 1 0. Can't complain. Ooh, first SEC game. Play another Florida school. We're ready for war. Up seven in the third quarter, and we're near the goal line. Great spot here. Do not fudge us up. Hassan just dumps it down to the right side. It's Chavis Lucas. He rounds up and finds a crease to get in the end zone. They came back and tied it up, but we're kicking up a field goal to get the lead. Just need our defense to hold the door. Time is winding down. They have a timeout and they're not using it. So much is happening. Ha ha ha. Time runs out. Sucks to suck. Players are happy. They just wanted the win. The Gators must have had a brain malfunction? I don't know. After the win, we had some very smart humans jump on board. We can finally flap our wings and go after four stars. Such an awesome feeling. Six to two, second in the SEC East. We'll definitely not complain so far. Man, lost to the dogs in overtime. Gave Kirby a run for his money. That's refreshing. Also lost to Tennessee, which sucks. Jimbo's coming to town. Top 15 ranked matchup on hand. Let's get the dub. Did just that one by 10. Great job, guys. And of course, Hassan played well. He's allergic to bad games. Well, he we fell off a cliff at the end there, huh? Eight and four? Yuck, man. The Gamecocks and Vanderbilt back-to-back -back losses. Not a fan of that. Gross. I mean, we should be disowned for the Vanderbilt loss, but let's at least win our bowl game. We're at the goal line. Hassan is calm and composed. He runs out to his right in the open field. Man, he's fast. Yeah, he's scoring a touchdown. You won't deny that B is honey. Good spot here, Tay, man. Just run the ball, get a first down. Oh, yeah, Hassan has just enough wheels to get the first down to seal this one away. Taylor, but hold the Y played great today in his final game as an Argonaut. Very glad we could send him off with a dub. He and two others are going to get drafted. That's fun. Good for you guys. Also got some other Boy Scouts moving on. That reminds me, when's the last time I had a thin mint? Ooh, that needs to change. I'm suffering withdrawal. Just an outstanding class for Coach Burgundy up and down the board. So many kids we are ecstatic to land. Daniel Nelson was one of those kids, and also Jackson Guillermo, Ernesto, Tanero, Guillermo. Gotta join the movement, man. Top five class after we hopped in the SEC. Finally got some shiny stars. So pretty. I mean, this team has its fair share of studs. Wished our defense was better. Hopefully, Asan could just put us on his back. He's capable. He's just so talented. He's also a mama's boy. He had mommy's milk till he was in middle school and shared the same bed with her for far too long. Maybe that's a secret. Protecting was Jacob Trail at left tackle. He's an all American and loves movies, but who doesn't? Movies are awesome. Awesomeness 2 0. Beat our old nemesis, Appalachian State, and our instant enemy, Flo Rida. Looking at the commits, we have 
in her class already. So much high quality talent. Greetings, puppy dogs. Hope you're ready for a war because we sure are. Can't take any days off on the trail. Kids are coming to the Palm Tree City for the showdown. All right, who's gonna step up here? Just consider the rewards if one of you makes a play here. Their quarterback drops back, doing the limbo in the pocket, and drops it down. That's a big man. Yeah, he's in for a touchdown. Shoot. Overtime now, man. Let's get seven. Hassan sits to the pocket and corks to the left side. Oh no, should have touched past it. That's not good, man. Rip the ball out, take it on kneecap. Do what you need to do here, please. They give it to the running back. He breaks the tackle. Love that. He has just enough speed. Scores a touchdown, man. This must be a Rosefell and Titanic. We had it, man. 10 and 2 finish to the year. Definitely a good record. Tennessee and the puppy dogs, man. They both have our number. Of course he did. He's gonna go to the league. Hopefully, coach could somehow blackmail him into staying. That's our only shot. Bull game between two playoff rejects. Let's end the season with a bang. Down seven with not much time left in the first, but we have the two-time Heisman. Hassan running out to his right. He finds a man deep downfield, butt naked open. Of course, he makes the throw in stride. Shane Brown is a fast man. He won't get cat. Tight contest, but we're at the goal line. Just need to punch this in. Hassan runs the option thing. He keeps him bulldozes his way into the end zone. Such a freak of nature. Do not miss this kick, Tanner. It's not even iced. Oh, yeah, it's going in. No need to fear. Tame is here, baby cakes. The players are celebrating. They look like kids when they hear the ice cream man. Or anyone in that case. So glad ice cream exists. The Viking people don't know they missed out on. Fill the bowl with ice cream. More useful than stupid oranges, man. Coach Burgundy will take care of it. He was genetically designed. Both his parents were top athletes. It's Yao Ming all over again. Glad Johnny Boy isn't leaving us. That's a relief. Same with Jesse Mitchell. Adios, amigos. Have fun in the NFL. Don't ever forget the five Ds of dodgeball. Man, a lot of kids are leaving us. It's a sad, sad day. Hope one of you become a movie director. Tanner would do that, but 67 IQ isn't sufficient. Had to replace all those hatchlings with new hatchlings, and man, this class is more ripped than the rack. Trayvon Jordan and BJ Christensen are big reasons why this class is so yoked. Number one in America. So nice to look down at everyone who's in fear. Just need to finish number one in the CFP now. Definitely our best team yet. Defense isn't quite up to the offense's level, but there's still some dudes on that side of the ball. Johnny has big shoes to fill. Would hate to be him. He's from Mexico. Hmm. Mexico has a city in Missouri. Well, I found the cartel. You're welcome. On our defense, we have a very good safety duo with Khalil Craig Myers at free safety and Shane Thompson at strong safety. Both very masculine men. They have big trucks. Booyah! Undefeated after eight games. Out of way. Man, we've had a good amount of close games. Happy to see we got that MJ in us. Our kryptonite so far in the SEC playing the burnt orange. Be confident, boys. Let's manifest this win. Dead even at zero in the second quarter. Johnny is in command. Johnny Boy drifted back in the pocket. Finds a man open deep. And delivers a beautiful pass for a touchdown. Yes! Defense has been stout today. What a pleasant surprise. Johnny Boy starting to gain confidence. Throws a key on Cruz who holds on to it for the touchdown. In control up 10. Just be smart here. Nothing stupid. We hand out to Jake. He has a black belt. Oh yeah, no one wants to mess with him. Touchdown Argonauts. Johnny Boy is jumping for joy. It was a great team victory. Well, we did lose. At least it didn't matter too much. We still won the East. Jimbo in overtime. That's rather unfortunate, but spank Missouri and Kentucky to close out the year. The Tigers in the SEC title game are ready to die if needed. Hopefully it isn't needed. Yikes, down 10 early looking pretty dim. Johnny Boy's determined. He finds an open Jesse Mitchell on the corner route. And he's got the speed to get in the end zone. No idea where we're going for it here. Think Coach Burgundy may be feeling a little too frisky. Johnny wants to prove him right. The kid from Mexico runs to his right. And hits Daniel Nelson in stride. The kid is fast. He started walking after birth. He's got the speed to score a touchdown. Defense really hankered down. They haven't scored since the first. With the game in his hands, Johnny throws to our wide open tight end. Bryce Brad to wrap this game up. Johnny Boy just remembered he lives during a time where Chick-fil-A exists. His day just got better. Coach Burgundy gets his SEC title. His dad won't come to a game unless it's a natty. He's as motivated as ever to win it all. Well, we gotta take down incest and Nikki. Let's make it happen. So start again for us, but we're at the five. Johnny's sitting very patiently in the pocket. Finds a man late. That's Keon Cruz for a touchdown. Just six seconds before half. We're being safe here. He's gonna kick up our field goal. Finally got a two-score lead, but little Nikki won't go down easy. The quarterback's sitting back. It gets frantic. He throws up a fly ball. Come on, defense. He drops it. You're so lucky that was fourth down. Johnny played fantastic. Shout out to him. Now we're moving on. The suck guys. Ron is coming for the game. Let's make him proud for coach. I scoring game in the second quarter. Really need a touchdown here, friends. Johnny is hurt, but he'll be back. We roll out and deliver to Mike Miller for a touchdown. Thank you, soldier. Man, we turn this thing around. Love it. Even with Johnny still hurt. We drop back and hit open man over the middle. Jesse Mitchell, you still. Let's go. They clawed back to have a shot here. Just can't let a miracle happen. They left it deep downfield. Man, their quarterback is the cannon. Come on, defense. Let's go. We pick it off, man. That was cool. He can jump high. Not many things in life can compare to this moment. Such an awesome feeling. Don Burgundy made it happen. He did a great job and we got it done. Could Tanner win every conference title with an FCS school? If you want to find out, click the video on the screen. I think you'll love it.